Hey, what's up everyone? Today I want to show you a guitar pedal that I've owned for quite a while but never used all that much until very recently. It's the Boss SY1 Synthesizer Stompbox. Now I got this pedal when I was like in the research of getting synthesizer tones on my guitar. I was trying MIDI pickups, I was trying the Boss SY1. In the end there was no way around a MIDI keyboard and synthesizer plugins, at least for me. However, very recently I started to experiment with the pedal again and I found some combinations to get super, super ambient sounds and really, really cool sounds, inspiring tones with this pedal and that's what I want to show you today. It's not going to be a review. There are tons of videos out there already showing what the sounds of the pedal itself are Today I want to show you the pedal in a setup context and just show you inspiring, hopefully inspiring tones and how I use the pedal. Now before I start, I owe a big apology to Boss Europe because they have sent the pedal over for me to do a video with two and a half years ago. I am so, so sorry, but the pedal arrived just before the shit was hitting the fan in 2020 and then things just got lost down the road. I am very very sorry about this. So Boss actually provided this pedal for me to do a video but yeah it's been a while. So I guess that's my how not to company relations tutorial. Now with that out of the way let's check out the sounds and I will explain my setup here a little bit. So I am running my guitar directly into the pedal, from the pedal directly into my audio interface, into Logic Pro, where I am using the Neural DSP Tone King Imperial Mark II, which is an awesome plugin for ambience crunchy tones. I'm really enjoying this. So I'm using this pedal in the context of an amplifier and not just on its own. You can use it on its own and it will sound much more like a synthesizer with that, but the pedal gives you the option to blend your guitar tone with the pedal tone and that is very very useful if you're using it with an amplifier. In a real analog setup situation the pedal would be in front of the amp anyway if you don't put it into the effects loop, but generally you would have it in front of the amp so it would go through the preamp and power amp section. So this is the sound of my setup. Very crunchy, very crisp, so there's some slight distortion going on there. So there's a bit of reverb going on. Uh, this right here is the Vary Speed by Genuine Soundware, an awesome, awesome tape delay, which I might use. I use it in the beginning clips. Um, so I might turn this on while recording, so that sounds like this. On. It's an awesome, awesome plugin. So now, very briefly, let's take a quick look at the pedal. I swear I'll shut up in just a minute. So with this, you can blend the guitar tone and the effects tone. With this, you can shape the sound these are your sound variations and this is your main knob to choose the type of synthesizer sound. That's it, that's all you need to know right here. Let's turn it on. Very, very cool. So this is a bass synth going on and it sounds like an octava, but it's, I know it's, it's different than an octava. Let's 
Let's try something different. Strings, maybe. I really like this post-rock vibe. I don't know, just very distorted, very, very moody and ambient. Absolutely love it. Love it. Let's try the organ, maybe. Maybe this one, I believe. So let's dial back the mix. So with the mix knob, it really elevates your guitar sound rather than just being something completely different, which I really, really like. If you compare it back to the original signal, which is this. So it really adds some outer-worldly sounds to your guitar. Absolutely, absolutely love this. I can't stop using it. I think this is much, much more exciting than just using the pedal on its own. Um, you can do that, of course, and it sounds awesome. No question about it. Let's try it, just for the sake of demonstration. So amp and cab are turned off right now. However, the effects are still on. Let's, let's turn on uh, full effect and no guitar at all. Of course, it sounds brilliant, but I think using it with an amp, using it with much more, you know, facts and stuff, it really elevates the use of this pedal. So this, it's far more than just trying to make a guitar sound like a synthesizer. So let's turn the amp back on. And our guitar signal back.
So that's already it. I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. I will end it though with a couple of jams that I've done with this pedal, which were really, really fun. So I hope you will enjoy these. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet for upcoming videos. And if you want to support me even more doing this, meanwhile, semi-professionally, I have a Patreon where you can sign up and get goodies like tabs, backing tracks, presets, and more. Thank you so much. I will see you next time.